Hello my dear children, in last video we finished three topics that is common noun, proper noun and collective noun. So today we will discuss the remaining two topics that is compound noun and gender. What is a compound noun? When two words are joined together to form a new noun is called a compound noun. For example, sun plus flower makes sunflower wood. Rain plus bow makes rainbow wood. Therefore, the words sunflower and rainbow are made by joining two words. Next, gender. So, what is a gender? Gender is a word to differentiate between male and female. Basically, gender is of four types. Number one, masculine gender. Number two, feminine gender. Number three, common gender. And the last one, number four, neuter gender. Masculine gender. Boy, grandfather, king, father, all this belongs to the masculine gender, okay? Feminine gender. Girl, grandmother, queen, mother, all this belongs to the feminine gender, okay? Common gender. Baby and teacher can be used for both male and female gender. These nouns are common gender, okay? Last one, neuter gender. There are some nouns that have no gender, such as pencil, chair, eraser. These nouns are known as neuter gender. All non-living things belong to neuter gender. So, children, I have got a homework for you. Question number one. Write whether these words are masculine, feminine, common or neuter. Number 1. Child. Number 2. Table. Number 3. Tiger. Number 4. Sofa. Number 5. Teacher. Number 6. House. Number 7. Dancer. Number 8. Aunt. So, one has been done for you. You have to write if it is masculine, you have to write M. If it is feminine, you have to write F. If it is common, then you have to write C. And if it is neuter, then you have to write N. Next question, question number two. Change the genders of the underlying nouns and rewrite the sentences. Number one, the king dances well. Number two, the girl was playing football. Number three, the prince held out his hand. Number four, sir, please tell me your name. Number five, my father goes to the office at 8 o'clock every day. So, what has been done for you? Question number one, the king dances well. Answer, the queen dances well. So, that was all for this chapter. I hope you understood. Thank you.